Well, many kids have some pretty big wish lists for the holidays, but as the Rolling Stones so eloquently put it, you can't always get what you want. One Metro Atlanta doctor is says that saying no to gift overload can actually be a really good thing for kids. Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about why. And all the kids who are home right now are saying, no, oh, don't I watch know. this. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the TV. Right. Yeah. Good morning, Elise. You know, I think it's really hard, especially this time of year, for parents to say no because nobody wants to be a Grinch. But if you can handle it right, WebMD's Dr. Hansa Bargava says you can teach children some really important lessons about what's important about the season. There is nothing better than being little and dreaming big during the holidays. But when you're the one helping Santa foot the bill, it's not easy. Still, WebMD medical editor, pediatrician, and mother of two, Dr. Hansa Bergava, says it's okay and actually a good thing to say no to a child. And parents often feel guilty. I think all of us parents want to do all we can for our children, but we have to let our children get the word no sometimes and be disappointed. Why? Because that is an essential life tool to know that sometimes you're not going to get what you want. You want a Red Rider BB gun? If you have a gift budget, Dr. Bargava says stick to it because you're teaching your child how to prioritize. This is a great learning opportunity over the holiday season to actually go through that list and ask your child, is this something you really need or is it something that you want. Oh, and if you're oh, trying to oh, scale back as a here. family, but maybe the grandparents or other relatives aren't helping, try talking to them about not overdoing it with the gifts. And if that won't work. The other way to handle that is to talk to your children and say, hey, you know, you're going to get a lot of toys. Decide if you need all of them because it would be great if you could pick one of those toys out of all those toys you get and give it to a child who may not get toys. Volunteering is another way to foster compassion in children as young as four and five because adults who give back studies show are much happier than those who don't. But Bargava says it may take time for young children to get the message that giving, not getting, is what it's all about. So take every holiday season and try to do something, whether it's at a shelter or choosing gift to give someone else or prioritizing the holiday list, it'll be helpful to your child in the end. And we tend to think of volunteering as something that grown-ups do, but there are many ways to involve your child. You could shop for Toys for Tots, as Paul just mentioned, and donate an unwrapped gift at any public store. You can shop for food together and donate it to the Atlanta Community Food Bank to help other families. Or you could collect some toys and some supplies and drop them off at your local animal rescue. And that way you're teaching your child, by example, that it feels good to give. I love that. I love that. You know, I think it's it's important, Beth, too, to start this at an early age so that they, they grow up knowing that. Absolutely. And, and Dr. Parker was saying, you know, even at the age of like four or five, kids can start learning these concepts. And I think, you know, one other thing to remember about the holidays is a real gift to kids is your presence mm -hmm. and doing something with you. So, you know, if you can't blow it out this Christmas with a big fancy gift, how about you say, you and I are going to spend the day together. We're going to go, you know, to the playground or whatever. Sure. We're going to leave your sisters and brothers behind. It's just going to be mom and you. One yeah, one you know, time. that's a great Great gift for a yeah. kid to be special. I like this. Wonderful ideas for us today, Beth. Thank Thanks. you so much for that. We Thank appreciate you. it.